So it's Sunday and it's time for my mental health vlog. And my background is a little bit different because we are not at home, we are in New Orleans. We decided um, at the last minute to just do a quick getaway. We got here last night at like 11. No, we got checked in at like 10 and we're just doing stuff around today and then we're heading back tomorrow. So took one day off work, but we just decided we needed, we needed to get away, especially with everything we've had that's been going on. And, um, it's been nice today. We went down to, um, the, uh, French Quarter and, um, it was insanely busy, so we didn't stay very long. Uh, we were looking for breakfast and we just no, by the time we figured out anything down there, it was lunchtime, and we just, we went to the casino, and uh, I got lunch at the casino, played a little bit, walked out with money in my pocket, which very seldom ever happens, and um, now we're just back at the room, we're getting ready for dinner, um, and then we're going to do a ghost tour tonight, so just, just a getaway day, nothing major. Um... I feel like there was a lot that happened this week, and I need to just check some of it in, and I don't remember everything. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my brain's been a little scattered. Um, work has been busy. I'm actually, as hard as this week was not being on the cruise, um, I'm actually glad that I was able to handle some fires that happened at work this week, and um, I had to, you know, I had to push a release back a week which the business you know pushed back and like we don't want to we don't want to push it back a week and, and, and ultimately in a very professional way I had to tell them I'm sorry but it's my call and I did it in a very professional way I justified my reasoning and it just it was what needed to be done so um as much as I hated pushing back to the business I'm glad that I was able to set those boundaries with them that reminds them that where I am here to try and make sure everything you want can be done. I also have to manage what you want. And if it's too much and it's not gonna be ready in time, then it's too much and it's not gonna be ready on time. So I was really able to set those boundaries with them. Um, Y'all, I am just completely drawn a blank about this entire week. Um, I uh, I did a live on my um, Fargy Dolls, or FD Designs uh, Etsy page, Facebook page. Um, and that was fun to introduce some new designs and do something live and interactive and fun. And I got a lot of business from it. Um, I reopened my shop last Friday when I realized we weren't going on the cruise. And by Monday, I already had like 50, 60 patches ordered. And it's like, oh crap <laughs> so right back to being behind and busy but it's it's been fun um i got to put my mother's day gift together for my mom which um i posted on facebook mom if you're watching you're blocked you can't see it don't worry um i had a lot of fun putting that together and i gotta get that in the mail when i get home um picked up my son on friday from taekwondo uh, he actually got injured in Taekwondo. They were, it was a, during weapons class, and somebody smacked him really hard against the stomach with a, a fake sword. I guess, like, my son had startled them. And um, he had a little whelp on his, on his stomach, and we had to put a little ice pack on it to keep him cool. But um, he was able to make it through the rest of the class, and then the next class that we had after it. And Friday was just nice and chill. We got, you know... We got home, we watched some TV and ate dinner and hung out for a little bit and then he went to bed and we got up early on Saturday and went and got, you know, coffee and um, we watched a movie. He, my, he got to pick, we picked Monty Python. Now I have never seen the Monty Python movie in completion. I've seen bits and pieces from here and there. My familiarity with it was with the musical, Spamlot. And, um, a lot of the references, but I actually really found it funny. I was like, I almost hate the fact that I found it funny, but I really found it funny, and, and my son found it hilarious. So, win win, you know. And I talked to him, I'm like, you know, there's a musical on this called Spam a Lot. If it ever comes to town, would you want to see it? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, sweet, check, done, score. 
course it's not touring anywhere right now, but oh well. And then we dropped off the dog and, and drove to, to Nolan's. Um, it's dirty. <laughs> There's some kind of fest going on this weekend and it's just, it's a lot of people and it's loud and I just feel old. Like I'm, I just last night when we got in and we we checked into the hotel and I'm like laying here in bed watching TV and I'm like, if this were me like 15 or 20 years ago, I would have checked into the hotel and gone straight to the bar. But I was more annoyed with the noise outside than I was wanting to be part of it. And I'm like, oh, I'm old. Speaking of getting older, um, I uh, went to pick up my son to hug him goodbye when I dropped him off with his daddy. And he's almost getting to the point where I can't do that anymore. I realized when I picked him up, I'm like, oh, you're getting, you're getting heavy. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this much longer. And I always told him I would always pick him up as long as I could. So when, he, when I realized he was heavy, it was one of those moments of, shit, it's getting close. But I will always pick him up as long as I'm able and as long as he wants. I also was having a conversation with my boyfriend this morning. Um, and it was just thinking about when I was younger and um, my virility and interest when I was younger and how soon I started expressing or playing around or being curious with, with other people. And I'm like, well, that was, what's his name? And that was in fifth grade. And then I went, my son's in fourth grade. Panic attack set in hardcore. Now, I don't think my son is anything like I was at that age. And, and you know, he's going to be whatever he's going to be. And I, and I will love him regardless. But um, just thinking that that I have those memories of being around his age. And I think it's time that his daddy and I had the talk with him. That's going to be another one that I'm going to have to prepare for. Especially because when his daddy and I were still married, we talked about the fact that his daddy would be the one to have the conversation with him because he's much more comfortable talking about sex than I am. I was. I'm much more comfortable talking about it now because I've, um, I don't let it have the power over me that it used to. But, um, yeah, it's getting close to that. Actually, one of the moms at Taekwondo already told me I was late a couple weeks ago. And I was like, well, he's not ready for that. And, and if I don't, give him that information somebody else will I'd much rather him get the accurate information from me I'd rather him get the full full story from from me and, and his daddy and we need to be on a unified front for that so my boyfriend's going to help me look for some books that are age appropriate for him and, um, and kind of go from there this is the scary part about being a parent. Or, to be fair, there's a lot of scary parts about being a parent, but this is just one of those things you're like dreading the talk. Mm. Eek. God, I really feel like something else happened this week I was going to talk about. Because I was just so flustered and frustrated and I have no idea what it was. Oh, well, it must not have been that important. And if it was, and I remember, I'll talk about it next week. Um, that's kind of it. I'm just having a very chill, relaxed day today. And it was needed. Because I was, I'm, I mean, I have been starting to get burnout. And um, that can be really draining. So... 
but still did my self-care. I, I cut my own hair because we didn't have time to get to the salon. I colored my own hair, but I always do that. Still have the, the really pretty teal. It's a darker teal and goes into the purple. I'm using a new product. It's like a leave-in overtone conditioner type thing stuff. So I'm trying that out and freshened up the nails, which I'm enjoying. I like having the colored nails. It doesn't, I don't really, you know, my philosophy, I don't really give a fuck what anybody thinks about me, but um, it's, it's been nice. And again, I feel big enough that no one's going to mess with me. But again, we just had that conversation where I called the F word a couple weeks ago and it took me down, you know, so who knows. <sighs> All right, guys, this has been kind of a weird vlog and I'm sorry. I just very scatterbrained right now. So check on your friends. Make sure they're doing okay. Check on your loved ones. Make sure they're doing okay. Check on yourself. Make sure you're doing okay. If you need a break, you need to get away, get away. Do something. Just take a day off from work if you need to. Make sure you're making time for you. All right, guys. Love you much. I will uh, see you next week.